right? Um, so students, for previous video, we discussed all the basic um, concept about differential equations already. And we also learned how to get the general solution and then go and get the particular solution and so on. All right. Uh, so in general, uh, this whole chapter is about this only. I mean, the concept is quite simple. Uh, that means you separate the variable, then you try to solve uh, the equation both sides by, by using the integration. Then substitute the suitable value given, okay, then you can get a solution. All right. Okay, so for today, for this video, we are going to discuss uh, some question which is more complicated. Uh, and usually for exam style question, uh, they will be more complicated like this. All the previous examples that we try out, uh, some of them are partial question, but uh, somehow it is quite straightforward and simple. Okay, all right, so for today's, we are going to discuss a few examples here, which needs quite, uh, how, how to say, quite a long solution to get the final answer one. So we will discuss it here. Okay, uh, I put it in one subtopic that we call it as natural occurrence of differential equations. Okay, so when we talk about dy dx, it means what? The rate at which the y increased compared with x. All right, so the word increase. So increase means that uh, your rate should be positive. Uh, all right, the value should be positive. If let's say they say decrease, means that the value should be negative. All right. And after that, if let's say they use some other variable, such as P, depends on changing value of another quantity Q, then when we write it, it will become DP over DQ. Okay. And then for all the example that we are going to discuss for, for this video or maybe in the future video, um, generally, Naturally occurring differential equation offer, uh, often involve a constant of proportion. So I think this is quite important. When you see the word constant of proportion, uh, it means that you might have the k uh, when you form the differential equation. So and, uh, after the integration, you have two constant. One is k, another one is c. Or you can use other um, alphabet or letters to represent it. But usually for me, I'm using k and c. All right. So usually for uh, the question here will involve the constant of proportion and then therefore you need two pieces of information okay, to get a particular solution. Alright, so this is what I mentioned with earlier. Like sometimes uh, you have two different terms, like two different unknown K and C that you don't know, so you have to find out. Alright, okay, so you need extra two informations. Yeah, and then uh, for exam style question, most of them, usually you need to learn how to convert a sentence into a differential equation. Okay, they are not going to give you straight away. All right, so maybe you can have a look for example five. Okay, so you can read the question first before we start. Okay, so now. Um, that's a model of the height. So you should know that the height is in meter. The unit here is very important actually because later somehow when you want to substitute some value, uh, you have to look at the um, unit okay, properly because sometimes they'll give, give you a different unit. Then when you substitute the value into the equation, you need to be extra careful. Uh, right. Okay, so they're talking about H is meter and then time is T and then they are measuring T in years. After being planted, assumes that while the tree is growing, the rate of increase. So usually I will tell students, you can highlight the word increase in height is proportional to this. It is given that when t equals to 0, h equals to 1, and dh dt equals to 0 0.2. Okay, so these are the first info, first, uh, how to say, the one paragraph that you give us before you can solve the question. So as the question here. So if you look at the question here, they want you to show that H and T satisfy the differential equation. So they want you to get this differential equation from the paragraph that they give you. So which means that you need to have a translation technique. Uh, translate sentence into symbol. Okay, so that you can get the equation that they want you to show. Alright, so maybe we can start here. Alright, so how to start? Generally, it's like that. When they are talking about the rate of increase in height. So, rate of increase in height, when you write out, it should be dh over dt. The height 
change okay the rate of increase of the height uh depending on the type after the t years right okay and then because of the word increase so usually in front should be a plus so if they mention the word decrease that means here should be a negative sign all right so this is one hint that you need to uh, remember all right you have to look at the word whether is it positive or negative is it increasing or decreasing all right so this is increase ah. therefore you put it as a positive then when you see the word proportional means you have a constant k but you don't know the value yet and after that proportional to what proportional to this term so proportional to this term means that you should always multiply it ah. all right so usually people will not write out the k uh, the plus oh, sorry okay but just for your information, because of the word increase, that's why I put uh, the word plus. All right. Okay. Then now, how can I prove to get this equation shown in the question? All right. So you need to find out the K here. So to find the K depends on the, according to the information that they give you here, then we are going to substitute it. So you can see that when T equals to 0, H equals to 1, DH DT equals to 0 0.2. So you substitute the information given in this question into the equation that you formed just now. So dh dt equals to 0 0.2. K, you don't know what is the value. H, you know that is 1. So 9 minus 1 is 8. So 8 power of 1 over 3, you get a 2. Correct or not? Therefore, you have K, which is equals to 0 0.1. So after you get a k equals to 0 0.1, this is how you get the equation dh over dt equals to 0 0.1 and then 9 minus h power 1 over 3. So this one has no special technique, you just need to know how to translate it only by using all the words given. Okay, then now we continue to part number 2. So we've done part number 1. Okay, so part number 2. They want you to solve this differential equation, obtain an expression for H in terms of T. So they have special requests for the answer. They want you to express the term uh, H in terms of T. All right, so for me, I will just start DH over DT. It is equal to 0 0.9. Oh, sorry, 0 0.1, then 9 minus H power 1 over 3. So again, uh, according to what we have learned before, I want to move the T over to the right hand side and after that I want to move this over to the left. Group all the H1 side on the left, all the T1 side on the right. Okay, the 0 0.1, I will just keep it because it is a constant, so I just keep it, I don't touch it. All right, so uh, if I move it over, then I'm having 9 minus H power negative 1 over 3. It become a denominator, right? So become power negative then equals to 0 0.1 dt. So once I separate them already, all the variable, then I will just put the integration sign. All right. Okay, so all these are basic integration. Ah. Okay, so when you integrate the left-hand side, you should get 9 minus h power plus 1 become 2 over 3. So you divide it by 2 over 3 and then multiply by negative 1 because when you differentiate the 9 minus h, ah, you get negative 1, right? So you multiply with the negative 1 at the denominator and then for this 0 0.1 you're having 0 0.1 t and then plus c you get a constant here okay so before i substitute all the value i like to simplify all my terms first uh, all my equation first so i will get this <laughs> Okay, so once done, then you can use the value given in the question. So given that what? Given that t equals to 0, they, are, you, uh, they tell you that h equals to 1 in the question. So when t equals to 0, you substitute uh, h equals to 1. So you're having 8 power 2 over 3, then equals to 0 plus c. So from here, you'll get your c, which is equals to negative 6. All right. Okay, so once you get the c equals to negative 6, nah, then you can start trying to simplify all your answer. Nah. So your original equation is something like this. Original answer, particular solution, right? Minus 6. 
you have to think a way to express it h in terms of t so i will want to move all the things over here to the right first okay so i move it slowly i don't know whether you can see it or not but i just try to move this away 2 over 3 equals to 0. Point. Oh, sorry i move the negative 3 over 2 over when i move it over i will get negative 1 over 15 t then plus so that's my first step and after that i want to move the power over so when i move the power over it will become the opposite power so that means on, on the right it is power 2 over 3 so when you move it to the other side it becomes 3 over 2 okay then what is the h now so the h now is 9 minus 4 minus 1 over 15 t and then 3 over 2 so this is my final answer which fulfill their request. They want us to express our answer H in terms of T. So this will be my answer. All right, so you can see that the idea is the very basic differential equation idea that we learned in the previous videos. All right, just that now you need to uh, substitute the value la, and then you need to express all your answer into the pattern that they want. Okay. All right, so sometimes a student will tell me, how about if let's say first part, they don't know how to prove. If let's say the first part, you don't know how to prove, right? Never mind. You just keep it and then you can still solve question number, part number two. Because you see, uh, part number two is plugged at the part number one equation. Correct or not? So even if you really don't know how to prove, uh, then don't waste the whole question. All right, so you can still start with part number two here. All right. So this is what you have uh, to answer the question. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue further. Alright, so how about if they want you to find the maximum height? Okay, so if you look at the word maximum height, means what? Means that you can let dh dt equals to zero. And they also want to know the time taken to reach the height after planting. Okay, so this is something about the differential differentiation question, uh, differentiation concept. So your dh dt from part number one is this one. When they want you to find out the maximum height, means that you let dh dt equals to zero. Okay, and then you are having nine minus h, which is equals to zero also. So h equals to nine. So that means that the nine meter will be the maximum height. You got only one h here, right? So there's no other h. That means this uh, automatically you should know that it is the maximum height. No need to prove that it is maximum. Okay, and besides the maximum height, what they want, they also want to know the time taken. So to get the time taken, you need to substitute it into your original equation. That means uh, when h equals to 9, substitute it into the answer in part number 2 here. So 9 equals to 9 minus 4 minus 1 over 15t. Okay, so if you continue from here, what do you get is 4 minus 1 over 15t equals to 0. And then from here, you should be able to get t equals to 60. So 60, uh, you need to put in the unit. So according to this question, the unit is years, uh, so it should be 60 years. So to let the tree grow until 9 meter height, you need 60 years to reach this maximum height. Okay, so this is something related to differentiation concept. All right, nothing much with differential equation. Okay, so the differential equation mainly is in part number two. All right, okay, then after that, they say calculate the time taken to reach half of the maximum height. So to reach half of maximum height means that what? The h equals to Maximum is 9. So the half of the maximum height will be 4.5 meter. Okay, so when h equals to 4.5 meter, what is the t? Again, you are going to apply in the solution that you get in part number 2. So h is 4.5 equals to 9 minus 4 minus 1 over 15t power 1. Oh, sorry, 3 over 2. Okay, I'll be right again. Huh? This is 3 over 2. 
Okay, so you need to continue it by yourself. Lah. I don't want to show you all the detail already. You just move the value here and there, try to simplify everything. Eventually, you should get your t equals to 19.1 years. Correct to three significant figures. So again, the unit here is very important. All right, years and also weeks and also months are huge difference. All right, very big difference. Uh. So just make sure that you are using the correct unit. All right, so this is what we have for the very first example that uh, involve the natural occurrence of differential equations. All right, and you will see that you you see that actually it is a partial question from year 2007 all right so i'll pause the video here for now and then in the next video we are going to discuss another two more example which is also taken out from the partial question